A recent study reveals that humans are significantly disturbing the global salt cycle, causing disruptions in the natural balance. Greetings to everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing the impact of human activities on the natural salt cycle, as highlighted in a recent study conducted by Professor Sujay Koshal from the University of Maryland. This study, published in the journal Nature Reviews Earth and Environment, emphasizes the potential existential threat that could arise if current trends continue. The findings reveal that human activities are contributing to increased salinity in Earth's air, soil and fresh water. Various factors such as agriculture, construction, water and road treatment, as well as industrial activities, can exacerbate this issue, leading to detrimental effects on biodiversity and even posing risks to drinking water safety in extreme cases. The study's authors strongly advocate for the establishment of a planetary boundary for safe and sustainable salt use. Without any further delay, let us now delve into our comprehensive discussion on this pressing matter. A recent scientific review, led by Professor Sujay Kaushal of the University of Maryland, has highlighted the detrimental impact of the planet's salt demand on both the environment and human health. Published in the esteemed journal Nature Reviews Earth and Environment, the study unveiled alarming findings that human activities are progressively increasing the salinity of Earth's air, soil and fresh water. This concerning trend, if left unchecked, could potentially pose an existential threat to our existence. Over time, salts are naturally brought to the surface of the Earth through geologic and hydrologic processes. However, the salt cycle is being rapidly accelerated by human activities such as mining and land development. Additionally, agriculture, construction, water and road treatment and other industrial activities can further intensify salinization, which has detrimental effects on biodiversity and can even pose risks to drinking water safety in severe instances. According to Kaushal, who has a dual role in UMD's Earth System Science Interdisciplinary Centre, the excessive accumulation of salt on the planet could potentially disrupt the proper functioning of essential organs or ecosystems if we were to consider the planet as a living organism. The process of extracting salt from water requires a significant amount of energy and is also quite costly. Furthermore, the byproduct of this process, known as brine, is even saltier than ocean water and poses a challenge when it comes to disposal. In their groundbreaking research, Kaushal and his fellow authors coined the term anthropogenic salt cycle to explain the disruptions caused by human activity thus revealing the global and interconnected impact of humans on the concentration and cycling of salt. According to Jean Likens, an ecologist at the University of Connecticut and the Carey Institute of Ecosystem Studies two decades ago, our understanding of the salinity of surface waters in places like New York and Baltimore was limited to case studies. However, we have now discovered that this phenomenon is part of a larger cycle, disrupted by human activities that spans from the depths of the Earth to the atmosphere. Various salt ions that exist in subterranean and above-ground water sources were examined in the recent study. Salts, which consist of positively charged cations and negatively charged anions, encompass a range of compounds, including calcium, magnesium, potassium and sulphate ions, which are among the most prevalent. According to Kaushal, the common association of salt with sodium chloride overlooks the fact that their research has revealed the presence of various other types of salts, such as those connected to limestone, gypsum and calcium sulphate. The escalation of salt ions when released in larger quantities can give rise to various ecological issues. In a study conducted by Kaushal and his colleagues, it was revealed that human-induced salinization has impacted roughly 2.5 billion acres of soil worldwide, which is equivalent to the land area of the United States. Additionally, there has been a noticeable surge in salt ions within streams and rivers over the past half century, aligning with the global upsurge in the utilization and manufacturing of salts. The presence of salt has permeated even the air itself, Certain areas are witnessing the drying up of lakes, resulting in the release of saline dust into the atmosphere. In regions with snowfall, road salts have the potential to transform into aerosols, generating particulate matter composed of sodium and chloride. 
The repercussions of salinization are not limited to a single outcome, but rather have a domino effect. One such effect is the acceleration of snowmelt and subsequent harm to communities, especially in the western region of the United States, which heavily depends on snow as a vital water source. Additionally, the unique structure of salt ions allows them to attach themselves to pollutants present in soil and sediment, creating toxic mixtures that circulate throughout the environment, causing harm along the way. According to Kaushal, salt possesses a compact ionic radius, enabling it to effortlessly interpose itself amidst soil particles. This unique property is precisely why road salts effectively hinder the formation of ice crystals. In the United States, the production of road salts is a significant contributor to environmental concerns. Annually, a staggering 44 billion pounds of de-icing agent are manufactured in the country. Between 2013 and 2017, road salts constituted 44% of the total salt consumption in the US, resulting in a substantial 13.9% contribution to the overall dissolved solids that flow into streams nationwide. Kaushal and his co-authors have noted that this leads to a notable concentration of salt in watersheds. In order to mitigate the potential saltwater influx in US waterways in the future, Kaushal proposed implementing measures that restrict the use of road salts or promote alternative solutions. Some cities in the United States, including Washington DC, have already begun using beet juice as a de-icer for icy roads. This alternative method yields the same results, while significantly reducing the amount of salt involved. According to Kaushal, there is a growing significance in evaluating the potential risks of road salts, as they not only contribute to public safety, but also have the potential to negatively impact water quality. According to Kaushal, we must consider both the immediate danger of injury and the potential long-term health consequences linked to excessive salt in our water. Achieving an optimal equilibrium is the key objective. In a similar manner to the establishment of a planetary boundary to control climate change through carbon dioxide levels, the authors of the study propose the implementation of a planetary boundary for safe and sustainable salt use. Kaushal acknowledged that although there is potential for regulating and managing salt levels, it presents distinctive obstacles. According to Kaushal, the matter at hand is exceedingly intricate due to the fact that salt is not classified as a primary contaminant in drinking water within the United States. Consequently, implementing regulations to control its presence would be a substantial endeavour. However, Kaushal firmly believes that salt is indeed escalating to detrimental levels in the environment. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.